about absolute value equations. I'm sure you're probably familiar with the notation, or at least that you've seen it before. It's those straight bars around a value or a variable. So it looks like this absolute value of x. Uh, here is an example. I have the absolute value of x is equal to 2. What that is asking me to do is, is find a value of x whose distance from 0 on the number line is 2 units. So the absolute value is measuring distance from 0. And it's always a non-negative answer here. Um, if I'm trying to find that x whose distance is 2 units, that means I can go to the left and end up at negative 2, or I can go to the right and end up at positive 2. So in general, if I have the absolute value of x is equal to some value a, I'm going to say x is either equal to the negative of that or it's equal to the positive. I'm going to get two options. So my general strategy, make sure my absolute value is isolated. There's no plus or minus or multiply times anything with my absolute value. It's just absolute value equals number. And then I get my two equations from there. So I either get the stuff that's inside equal to the negative moving to the left or the stuff inside is equal to the positive moving that many units to the right. Let me show you an example or two. So the absolute value of 3x plus 1 and then a minus 4 is equal to negative 1. Well, the absolute value isn't isolated. There's stuff on the same side with it. So we need to get rid of this minus 4 and we'll do that by adding 4 to both sides. So now I have a simple absolute value of 3x plus 1 is equal to just a number now I can move in, drop those absolute values, and get my two separate equations. Now, in this one, I put 3x plus 1, the inside stuff, is equal to the positive 3, or the 3x plus 1 is equal to the negative 3. Makes no difference which one you write down first. The point is that you remember that you have to get both of them, either the negative or equal to the positive. Work those out, and I get my two answers here. There's a couple things I want to make note of. One, you notice these are not just the same number, one positive and one negative. Um, but also, I want to warn you that you won't always even get one positive and one negative. Okay? So don't make any assumptions. Just write out your two equations and do the, the algebra to get the answers. Here is another one, the absolute value of 5x plus 4. And then we have this plus 2 equals 5. Again, we'll isolate by subtracting 2 in this case. We'll get our two equations and then work out our two answers. This one, like I'm telling you, you can't make assumptions. This one, I actually end up with two negative answers. These are kind of cool to check on a graphing calculator, so let me show you that like super quick. So I'm going to move this over, and I'm going to graph that original equation here in my calculator, if I can turn it on. Go to y equals, and absolute value is found under the math button. Go over to number, and that ABS, that stands for absolute value. So I want absolute value of the 5x plus 4. Close that because that's all that's in the absolute value. And then plus 2. So that's the left side. That's my first equation. The right-hand side is going to be my other equation, very simply, just y equals 5. So it's going to be a flat horizontal line. I'm going to check this in the standard window. So there's my absolute value. It's always going to be a V-shape. And there I have this this line here um, that's a horizontal line. No, no surprise. I'm going to hit trace and put in what I think the answer is, negative 1 fifth. And I can see, can you see where it's blinking? It's blinking right there where those two intersect. So that helps me understand that that is going to be the answer. It's y equals 5. That's on the other line. I can do the same thing for the other point, negative 7 fifths. Enter. And again, now it's blinking on the other intersection point. My y is equal to 5, where that horizontal line is. All right? So remember to check your work. If you don't want to use your calculator, just plug it into the beginning and do the arithmetic. Let me know if you have questions.